Hey, what is up my fish tank guys and girls? In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about a topic that I have briefly touched upon in the past, kind of in passing when uh, I'm explaining what's going on with my tanks or any issues that I'm having. But today I'm going to face it head on and we are going to talk about going to war, going to war with cyanobacteria. <laughs> So for those of you who have been in the hobby for any amount of time, it could be six months, it could be 10 years, it could be 20 years, more than likely you have experienced an encounter with cyanobacteria. Now for those of you who are potentially new to the saltwater hobby, cyanobacteria is typically displayed as a reddish purple colored slime that will cover your rocks and your sand. Um, you can kind of pull it away in sheets. Um, and then when you do pull it away or you hit it with a turkey baser, it'll float around in the water column and hopefully get picked up by your filtration media. Now, the issue with cyanobacteria is it's very difficult to remove and basically prevent from occurring again. There are a lot of theories out there about what causes cyanobacteria, and I don't think anyone knows 100% for sure. There have been folks that say low nutrients in your water cause cyanobacteria, which means you know, you're not feeding very often, you have very clean water, if that makes sense. So some people say that causes it, other people say lack of water changes causes it. Um, you know, Dirty water, too many nutrients in the water can cause cyanobacteria, and I don't think anybody knows 100% for sure. Now, I've seen credible sources argue on both sides of the aisle, but you know, it doesn't really matter because at the end of the day, once you have it, the question is, how do I get rid of it and how do I keep it from coming back? Now, in the past, I have always preached natural, uh, natural methods of getting rid of cyanobacteria, which is improved, you know, tank maintenance basically. Now, depending on what side you believe in, if it's the clean water or the dirty water that causes it, that kind of changes what your approach might be. For me personally, I've noticed that if I go for a few extra weeks without performing water changes, cyanobacteria will rear its ugly head and it will be in my tank again. So for those of you who subscribe to my channel, you'll recognize this tank right next to me as the Fluval Evo 13 and a half gallon aquarium. And right now, this is my favorite tank. I love this tank so much. It's fairly easy to take care of. I love how I have it sitting on my desk. I have some nice coral. I've got two awesome fish in this tank. And for the most part, it stays pretty clean. Now I've had a bout with cyanobacteria with this tank in the past, and I was able to get through it with more regular water changes. I increased to once a week instead of once every other week. And at this point, you know, I missed a couple water changes here and there. So I've maybe gone a month without doing a water change, but then I went two weeks and two weeks and two weeks, which is normal. And then I went a month again, and, and now cyanobacteria has reared its ugly head. Is it because my water's too clean? I don't really think so, but um, I, I don't actually know for sure. So as I explain sort of my mentality behind trying something different this time around, I'm going to show you a little bit of the aquarium where the cyanobacteria is starting to form. It's on the sand. Over the last few days, I've stirred up the sand. I've tried to suck some of it out. I've tried to you know blow it off the rocks and attempt to get rid of it in attempts to get rid of it, but it is still returning day after day. It seems like maybe two days later, it's back to where it was when I tried to clean it out. Now, I would go with the increased water change method, but unfortunately, I just have a hard time dedicating that much time to the tank because when you have this kind of outbreak, it's not just water changes, it's using the turkey baser to blow off the rocks, it's stirring up the sand and trying to remove as much of it, remove as much of that slime as possible and then performing a water change. Now, while this has proved successful for me in the past, I started to wonder if there might be a better way. Now, after doing some research, I basically stumbled upon this product called ChemiClean. I don't know if it will, will it focus on that guy? Will it? There it is. 
Uh, Kemi Clean Aquarium Treatment. Now, the guys on BRS TV have recommended this a few times. And on Amazon, it has crazy good reviews, like overwhelmingly positive. Now, there are some negative reviews, but overwhelmingly for this, positive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to use it in my aquarium here. Now I actually don't know the outcome of this video as I'm filming it right now because I have not treated the tank yet, but it is said that within 24 to 48 hours, this stuff will basically eliminate all of, all of the cyanobacteria in your tank and keep it away for at least a while. So uh, just so you guys know, uh, I'm basically going to follow the instructions as is in terms of how much of this to use, the quantity of it to use. But the one thing that I want to point out is they mention making sure your oxygen levels are increased during the use of this. So what I'm going to do is I have a small air pump here and I have a, quite a large air stone. I'm going to drop this into the tank and plug in the air pump over the course of the next two days while this is doing its magic just to make sure that I maintain those good oxygen levels in the tank. So after the next cut, you'll see me putting some of the powder into the aquarium, putting in the air stone, and then I will be back with the results in a couple days. Now I will say before I put this into the tank, it says that the product is reef safe, coral safe, fish safe, all that stuff. And most of the reviews on Amazon you know, echoed that same thing. People used this, it got rid of the slime, and all of their fish and coral were good. There were a few folks on there, however, who said their coral were affected. So I'm really, really crossing my fingers and uh, hoping for good luck here in that it, you know, takes away all the bad stuff and doesn't affect all the good stuff in my aquarium. So without further ado, I'm going to, you know, pop the lid off the aquarium, measure out how much powder I need to put in the tank, get the air pump going, and then we're gonna see how this thing does over the course of the next two days. So it's only been a few minutes for you guys, but it's been almost exactly 48 hours for me since I put the Kemi Clean into my Fluval Evo Aquarium. Now, I am very happy to report that the Kemi Clean effectively removes all of the cyanobacteria from the tank. Now I'm gonna do a few panning shots while I'm talking here so you can see for yourself that the sand is clear, the rock work is clear, the corals are clear and free from any cyanobacteria whatsoever. Now this is the first time that I can say that I have gone to battle with cyanobacteria and I have won the war in roughly 48 hours. Now you could definitely eradicate cyanobacteria naturally um, with good maintenance and good water changes, uh, you know, changing the water often, keeping up with your aquarium, but that can take from weeks to months to complete. Now, I don't know how this will work over the next few days. I'm going to keep an eye on the tank. If there is an update after I'm done talking right now, you'll know that something went wrong or I noticed some issues, but otherwise all of the coral and the fish look great. Now, since the 48 hour cycle has ended, I'm going to remove the air stone and perform a water change as recommended on the directions, just to make sure I follow everything to a T. But after that, I think I should be good. So in summary, I am very, very happy with how Kemi Clean worked in my Fluval Evo. And at this point, I highly recommend it to anyone who is dealing with a cyano outbreak. Um, I'm going to put a link to the product in the description below um, so you guys can check it out. And also in the comments, have you tried ChemiClean? Did it work for you? Did it not work for you? Let me know uh, because I'd like some more input. Uh, you know, obviously chemicals and things like that in the fish tank hobby 
kind of affect different tanks differently. So in my case, it worked, but in other cases, you know, maybe it didn't. So I'd be really interested to know. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing so. Um, I really appreciate you guys watching the channel and watching this video. And really, that's all I've got for now. Uh, Kemi Clean, thumbs up. So until a future Fish Tank Guy video, I will see you guys soon.